Tap the vein, boys and girls. Tap the vein. Good start to college football season. You can tell my hair's even a little bit rough. Blood bank guarantee hits. The Florida Gators managed to survive one of the drunkest, worst played college football games I have seen in a long time. Fourth and 34 and you get a 15-yard pass interference penalty when all you need to do is just allow the guy to catch the ball and tackle him. Some of the collection of dumbest decisions I've ever mean, ever seen. Felipe Franks, four and a half minutes to go. What is he doing? Why are they throwing the ball there? Florida got whatever it was, 10 sacks. Jaron Williams was running for his life all night long. But neither one of these teams look very good. Now it's week one of college football. Week zero even. Neither one of these teams look very good. But my God. I'm glad to be back. Glad to be back with a nice blood bank guarantee. I hope you guys had the under. I got the over tonight in Hawaii, Arizona. Uh, But man, Franks was bad. I don't believe in Felipe Franks at all. He's a big, strong, tough runner when he gets down near the goal line. So I do like that aspect of Florida's offense that they can just kind of give him the ball and tell him to run it. But when he has to throw the ball or when he has to make decisions or when he uh, they switch defenses on him at all, he never seems to have a clue what's going on. Did you see the Steve Spurrier reaction? <laughs> I tweeted out the picture of Steve Spurrier reacting immediately after that interception. Uh, but, man, they managed to survive. It was a mess. It was an ugly game. I don't think Miami had any business winning, but Florida almost gave it away. The tackling was atrocious on both sides. Uh, just an ugly, ugly game. But it was beautiful because it was college football and because the blood bank guarantee won. Uh, so, uh, that is the reaction to Florida, Miami. I'll come back to that in a second. But the biggest news, the bombshell that hit during this game was Andrew Luck has retired. I imagine everybody pretty much knows this news already, but if you're just tuning in and you're in disbelief, when this came across my Twitter feed tonight, I looked at it from Adam Schefter like 20 different times to make sure that it was real because you know that's a thing where people make up fake uh, Twitter handles and try to make you think that news is real that isn't real. This is a massive news story and I immediately, several thoughts. One, this is the biggest retirement story I can remember as a sports fan since all the way back with uh, with Michael Jordan, honestly. I know Barry Sanders retiring was a big story but Barry Sanders was a running back and running backs obviously don't have as long of a shelf life as, uh, as quarterbacks. Andrew Luck's 29 years old. Right now, Drew Brees is 40. Tom Brady's 42. Phillip Rivers is 36 or 37 years old. Andrew Luck might have had a decade left if he could have stayed healthy. And I said this on Lock It In this week. I said, I don't trust the Indianapolis Colts when it comes to reports about Andrew Luck's health. Because the year that he missed, they didn't ever give us any good info there either. And reports are that Andrew Luck is married and he just wants to travel the world and he hasn't been able to get healthy and his body has kind of fallen apart on him and he took an unbelievable amount of hits early in his career and his body has just said enough. He's walking away from over $50 million guaranteed but he made over $50 million already. He's only 29 years old. He's a super smart guy. And the stress of playing football might not be for him. People laugh at me when I say this. My wife laughed at me when I said this. I said, I want out by 50. A lot of people in my industry, they go till they die. Right now, I'm 40. I'm saying, I'm going to go hard for another decade. And right now, my plan is to be filthy rich for me and be out by 50. Bank 20, 30, 40 million dollars, whatever I can get down by 50 in the next decade. And then my plan is to be out. Maybe I'll change my mind. But if you work a lot, at some point you start to say, what am I working so much for? And so I just want to kick back and chill. I want to go down to the beach. Maybe I'll get bored with that after a few years and want to come back. But when you work 80, 100 hour weeks, 
uh, all the time, which I think, honestly, if you're a star quarterback in the NFL and you're going to excel, the amount of work you have to put in is off the charts. So I don't blame anybody for stopping and deciding to recharge. I mean, even if you are a, uh, a guy who is out there in the venture capital universe and you start a company and you go as hard as you can for several years, a lot of those guys have to step out and recharge too. I don't think Andrew Luck will stay retired. I think he will come back and end up playing again uh, after a couple of years after recharging his battery and after his body starts to get healthy. But maybe he won't. Maybe he's going to be like Barry Sanders. And in terms of the football impact, I mean, this is monumental. Because the AFC South was the Indianapolis Colts division. But the drop-off from Andrew Luck to Jacoby Brissett is massive. It's off the charts substantial. Lamar Miller also tore his ACL tonight for the Houston Texans. Uh, We've got all different sorts of ridiculousness going on uh, associated uh, with The Titans, the Titans right now, given how bad their luck can be, I would just fold up the tents and not even play in the preseason for any of the starters for the next two weeks now for the Titans. Uh, Because I feel completely confident that tomorrow uh, the Titans are going to roll out for Sunday Night Football and Marcus Mariota will run into Derrick Henry and Corey Davis simultaneously and all three of them will injure their knees and be out for the season. So uh, the AFC South is wide open. Um, but this is a wild story because Andrew Luck, according to videos that I saw, uh, was on the sideline when this news broke. And Andrew Luck was on the sideline and Colt fans started to boo him as this news came down from Adam Schefter. So uh, from an AFC South perspective, you got Nick Foles, you got Jacoby Brissett, you got Marcus Mariota, and you got Deshaun Watson. You can maybe toss in Ryan Tannehill because Marcus Mariota is unlikely to stay healthy for the entire season. But this is monumental. The Titans never beat Andrew Luck. He retires 11-0 against them. I don't feel confident that they were ever going to beat him. But I don't think Jacoby Brissett's ever beaten the Titans. I mean, that's a big drop-off. And so the t- the win total for the Colts went from a lot of places 9.5 all the way down to 6.5. So this is pretty substantial. It's pretty unbelievable that RG3 ends up outlasting Andrew Luck in the NFL, assuming that Andrew Luck is not actually going to come back and ever play again. This is monumental. As big and as shocking of news in the retirement universe as I can ever remember, short of Michael Jordan, honestly, Barry Sanders, it just doesn't happen that often. So who in the world knows what is going to end up happening here but this is, uh, this is fundamentally uh, a, a reordering of the NFL. The AFC, this helps the Patriots. This helps the Chiefs. Uh, because I think Andrew Luck and the Colts, given how they had remade that offensive line and given how they had remade that defense, but coming into the offseason before we started hearing about the Andrew Luck injury issues, uh, back in July, I said I like the Colts to win the Super Bowl or Andrew Luck to be the MVP. I like those future odds. If you're drafting fantasy... I hope you haven't drafted fantasy yet because that was going to be a tough call. A lot of people, I saw O.J. Simpson's already complaining because he drafted Andrew Luck already. Uh, I don't know what the what the Colts' plan is now, honestly, uh, because he has just left them, Andrew Luck has, high and dry. I think they probably contemplate going back into the draft. You got Jake Fromm, you got Tua, and you got Justin Herbert who are all three going to be pretty high up. Uh, but I don't know that there are very many good options This is a uh, messy situation. They're not going to go get Colin Kaepernick. I'd rather have Jacoby Brissett than Colin Kaepernick. He doesn't really fit their offense to begin with. Uh, But this is an ugly, messy situation. And he's putting them in a position two weeks before. I mean, this is Jacoby Brissett's team. There's no other options that are out there. Uh, So, I appreciate all of you. We like to do these live reaction shows when crazy stuff like this happens. Um, And we will always do this. But I hope Andrew Luck uh, finds uh, good health in his retirement. I don't begrudge a guy who has gone to the heights of of his profession deciding that he wants to do something else. I really don't. Um, And uh, I just think it's a tough position for the Colts to be in to find out right now. Basically, what, two weeks from the first game of of the season on the road against the Chargers. If you're wondering what the first three games for the Colts look like. 
The first three are on the road against the Chargers, on the road against the Titans, back home against the Falcons, and I think this probably makes the Colts an underdog in the first three games of the season. So uh, this is a wild story, craziness. Appreciate all of you uh, out there. I hope you ha hopped on the blood bank guarantee for the Florida-Miami game. I'm on the over tonight in Hawaii, Arizona. Hopefully there'll be a lot of points there as well and we can start off the day 2-0. and But the blood bank cashing to start the season is always a good omen. I love all of you. Uh, my name is Clay Travis. This has been Outkick the Show. Uh, tomorrow, uh, new wins and losses podcast will be up with Rachel Bonetta. And obviously Monday morning, I'll be back with you guys ready to roll. Appreciate all of you. Kisses, DBAP, unless you need to SBAP. Tap the veins, boys and girls. College football is back. And for tonight, at least, I hope you're all rich. We'll see you guys. Love y'all. Bye. See you, Facebook.